I'm up here in colonial Kingston, New York. The seeds of democracy were sown here. The courthouse right across the street, four Supreme Court justices, including John Jay, were jurors here. I was ready to leave this country. I was down in Uruguay, Argentina, Chile. I had enough. I came back from Berlin in 2012. Actually, I could tell you the date. It was April 27th. And one of the historic buildings on the corner here, the Franz Rogan House, built in 1750, was up for sale. It went up for sale when I was away. And when I was in Berlin, Aaron, I looked around and I said, you know, this place was grander than Paris before it was bombed out. Because you see the great German buildings and then all new construction. Everywhere you look, old new construction. I said, how could the Germans, of all people in the 1930s, their head in, in, in science, culture, philosophy, these are the Germans. How could they let a two-bit freak destroy their country? And the same, I'm of Italian descent. My blood is Napolitano, but I was born in the Bronx. How could they let a cartoon character like Mussolini destroy their country? And I, I came back, and this building was for sale. And I said, I'm not leaving. This is my country. I couldn't be me if I was born anywhere else. Let these freaks leave. I'm tired of hearing love it or leave it. You leave it. And, and I started buying these historic buildings on the most historic corner. As I said, the seeds of democracy were sown here. And every one of the founding fathers, beginning with George Washington, a real commander in chief, not like these little chicken hawks that play basketball, play golf, and drive pickup trucks. This is a man that led the revolution. His farewell address, no foreign entanglements. The world was at war then. It wasn't different. The means are different. The deeds are different. The world was at war. Franklin, Adams, Madison, every one of the founding fathers, no foreign entanglements. And what have they done? They've robbed us of the future of the children, the genius of the scientists, and the sweat of the laborers, as Eisenhower warned in his farewell address, that the military-industrial complex was taking over the nation. We're launching Occupy Peace. This isn't peace and love. This is a battle plan for peace. It's to bring the founding fathers, honor thy founding fathers, the dream of this country that made it the land of opportunity, to bring it back to where it was. No foreign entanglements. Bring home the troops seal up the borders, rebuild America, and invest in this nation, rather than squandering the trillions on every lost war that anyone could count, whether right. it was Korea, yeah. whether it was Vietnam.